All right, everyone. Hello. Welcome to what will be our biggest show in the history of our company. I don't think I, I know I said that for the Canadian Classic, and that was true. And a lot of that is cheating. Um, because, yeah, hang on, this is running. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to, uh, there we go. All right, and we're good to go. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, but yeah, I know this is kind of, but I don't think it'll be, it'll be a while before we top this show, which is Luthez versus Buddy Rogers 4. We'll just advance to tomorrow. Should have done this earlier, but yeah, I mean, we have our first ever tag team match in history between the Kozaks and Killer Kowalski and a mystery partner. So that's exciting. And as we're in March of 1970, so... Yeah, you know, I will admit, I did screw up the uh, go-home show. I think, uh, you know, I had a lot of, um, I had a lot of, uh, you know, like the Canadian Classic one, CFW Live. Um, and then, yeah, 40, so then we hit a 52, knocked it out of the part with uh, Luthez in the main event and everything. And then, uh. We had a six-man tag, so unfortunately I did burn that bridge. But first ever classic tag team match in CFW history. Uh, and then we have Luthez versus Harold Sakata. And then, of course, now we have... Uh, uh, yeah, so this match was the mistake. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of baby faces on the level as the heels. So putting, he like, putting a non-Luthez in the spot that in the main event spot on shows can be a little bit of a bust sometimes to protect our higher ranking baby faces so that that's kind of why i screwed up the main uh the go home show because you know i mean up to that point our shows were just getting better and better and better we had a miss 47 went up to 45 a little bit of a zap but then a 51 and then followed up with another 51, which was the Canadian Classic. Then a 52, and then a, you know, which was up to that point our greatest show ever. Still is 49, 45. So our shows are getting weaker, but you know, this show hopefully is a hit. We got three big matches, and we'll see where we go. And you know, after this show, I'll probably look to bring in some baby faces. So. We can have our top heels like Killer Kowalski and Buddy Rogers who have been showcased the most on our shows just because they're consistently there. All there, so. But enough talk. Let me just uh, go ahead and book our... Yeah, I'm not concerned if we lose Nick Kozak, we'd be screwed. But right now, we look safe when it comes to not losing Nick Kozak. Like, uh, let me just pull up the roster. Um, cause Nick Kozak is like our second biggest baby face locally, he's super popular. So, you know, if, uh, so yeah, we don't have to view rival offers or anything. Um, we have them to a exclusive handshake deal. So it is what it is, but enough of that. I'll see you guys for what is our biggest show of the year with that intro. And yeah, see you guys at the end. All right, everyone, let's begin our show here. And we have, of course, Terry Funk versus Dusty Rhodes in our, as usual, rookie showcase pre-show. 36, solid. Unfortunately, I was a bad road agent, which is something we've struggled with on our shows. But next up, we have a 34 opening match, which is fine. Uh, it had good heat, decent wrestling, you know, just uh, nothing special, just a solid undercard match. And next up, uh, ooh, a terrible a angle here. Um, yeah, I should have checked that they need a script, but basically, the these two tension, these two wrestlers have uh, had a lot of tension. Abdul the Butcher calls out Thor Hagen. Thor Hagen comes down. They have an argument. You know, they basically saying, "Oh, you beat me and everything. I'm gonna." beat you for that Canadian Heavyweight Championship, and, uh, yeah, pre-booking, we already did that, but 
Um, next up, the match order here, but here we go. So John Tolos, I believe, makes his debut or one of his first appearances. He comes out, and him and Killer Kowalski, they come in, and Jerry Kowalski, there we go, I had that right, uh, takes the fall here in a 58, solid match, one of the best in our company's young, blossoming history in terms of creative, money, not so much. But, yeah, solid match here. Uh, the Kozak brothers, they do take a loss, and Nick Kozak once again loses to Killer Kowalski. Next segment, a uh, decent match. Uh, 48, Thor Hagen and Terry Funk kind of didn't click. But, uh, yeah, you know, but at the end of the day, 48, better than what our market was targeting. And after a 58 in our big match, that should be good. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Abdullah the Butcher defeated Thor Hagen. And Abdullah the Butcher this time cheats to win after all that talk, after all that attacking. Abdullah the Butcher, in a wild brawl, uses a weapon to defeat Thor Hagen and has now won the CFW Canadian Heavyweight Championship. So we have a new champion on this show. And next up, the elaborate, uh, elaborate entrance, which our elaborate entrances are basically just, oh, we'll show them walking out from backstage. Basically to sell that this is the biggest match. Next segment, 44. Uh, so, yeah, Luthez comes out. And let's see how we do here. 50, there we go. You love to see it. Um, Buddy Rogers was off his game, but uh, Luthez kind of does a carry job here. Uh, and then Fritz Von Erich makes his debut here and attacks uh, and Gorgeous George and attacks uh, Luthez, so Buddy Rogers gets the win and is our first ever CFW World Heavyweight Championship. So that, that is how that story begins. We have our first ever world champion, and the storyline between these two is over. Luthez shakes Buddy Rogers' hand, even though Buddy Rogers cheated. Uh, this was a much win for Buddy Rogers, and Luthez can't help but show respect for his rival of eight years it uh so you know at, at, that angle kind of was a bit of a miss but because the match was so good this should be a great show we'll see how the rating is 48 so not our best show i think i should have just scrapped because we had enough time here i should have scrapped the uh pre-entrances and some of the angles were a bit of a miss here, so that was a mistake by me. Uh, yeah, we'll make a speech. So, because Luthez was not happy to do this, uh, we should uh, praise him for great performances. Same thing for Buddy Rogers. Both these guys have morale issues for us, uh, which is to be expected. And then, who had match of the night? Well, it was Luthez and Buddy Rogers, but Abdul, uh, ooh, Killer Kowalski, and John Tolo. So. We'll give Killer Kowalski a shout out here. So that's it for this one. So we have our first ever CFW World Heavyweight Champion to close the show. And I'll show you guys the title because it wasn't going to be revealed until uh, the show. So um, let me just see here. So 9,000 people watch the show. Uh, yeah, so, woo! 10,000 people watched uh, Luthez versus Buddy Rogers 4. Uh, definitely a step down from when they packed a huge arena in October. Um, so, yeah, let me just go here. Let's go to uh, titles. And there you go. Buddy Rogers, there's the belt design that I went with out of all the ones. Looks nice in territory. I think the Silver Eagle stands out. So that's the one we went with. Our first ever champion. Um, uh, yep, so I created that. So it was basically I was created uh, when the feud with Luthez and Buddy Rogers. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, current prestige is at 40. Hopefully we can build that up. I think the Canadian Classic winner has a solid prestige of 46. So that kind of is our marquee achievement. Hopefully we can get the belt up here. But that is going to take some work. So um, 
But yeah, that is it for this one. Uh, I would say underwhelming, but not a terrible miss. Unfortunately, we are losing even more money. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. But uh, yeah, we uh, our company may not live forever. But, you know, we have the Canadian Classic and then... Yeah, so definitely a disappointing show, but that was more the angles than the other matches. I think some of the cards I have in the future will turn out better, but that uh, remains to be seen. So that's it for this one, everyone. I will see you guys for the next episode sometime soon. A little bit of a short one, but it was a major event. So, yeah, see you guys then.